Hey guys, it's me, Megan from SDTC, Megan and Sarah. Also, you know me from DIDC Love 2004. But anyway, I'm here because when I was partially cleaning my room, I found this huge caboodle. Or maybe not huge, this smallish caboodle full of all these old duct tape stuff that I made. And I just wanted to show you guys. They're not very good. So first I have this, this whole kit of caboodle stuff. I have this duct tape headband, which is just a regular headband covered in duct tape. I don't know why I have it, but I do. Then we have this fail at a, sorry, there's hair on it. There's this fail at a flower clip, because you can see the bobby pin. And it is cheetah brown, black, and cookie dough, which I think is a pretty good color combination. I don't know about the cookie dough. What do you guys think? Comment below what you think. Anyway, um, it doesn't really stay in your hair. I'll show you guys. And no, it's not because I have no hair to grab on. Watch. It doesn't stay in your hair. I don't even know if I'm going to sell it. I might, I might stick it on this or a headband or something. That looks terrible, so I won't. Alright, next I've got a flower pen. It is silver and baroque as the petals, which I think there's like 25, 27, 30 petals, something like that. So it's fairly heavy. The stem is lime green. There's no flower on it. Because if you did that, it would be really hard to write with. Yeah. So then, we have the first flower I ever made. <laughs> um, and it is out of this like packing tape material. where it, I thought it was regular duct tape when I got it, but it wasn't. So... Yeah, it's really cool, and it's really thin. Like, look how thin that is. And it's like, it makes the flower really light, but you can't order a wallet with it. Like, the wallet is, like, made out of it because it's too thin, and your wallet could tear. So, on that note, I have two more flowers. This one, which I don't even know what kind of flower it is. It's just... It's cool. I don't know. I, I, I know it's trying to make a flower, but I don't know which kind it was. Anyway, it's a dark green stem with teal and zebra and black petals, which I think looks pretty cool because I made a bracelet for one of the girls I assist. I made it with these colors and also lime green, and it surprisingly looked really good. Like, look at that. that it's like a match made in heaven. <laughs> Not really. Alright, so next I have a couple bookmarks. This one, it's just a pickle face with orange face features and hair and a goatee and stuff. And then this is just lime green with a saying we say at my school. And some of you may know this video is already on my other account, but I'm deleting that, so don't watch it. And then... And this one, it's blue and white, and it says, Go Books. And then if you flip it, or like that, it doesn't really matter, it's blue and white stripes. Next, we've got some wallets. I've got this with the triangular pattern. I'm critiquing these wallets that I made because they're not very good. So, yeah. It's pretty thin. I mean, usual wallet size. You can see the detail on this. It's not like I did triangles. And I didn't stencil it, so it looks bad. Oh, jeez. Anyway, we have one, well, silver, silver, green, lime green rims. Um, one, two. And then this third one is fairly tricky because it's, like, even size with the billfold. So you can't really see it. If you can see that, see this part right here? That's the pocket. Anyway, so we've got one, two, three pockets, which the pockets are fairly weird because, as you can see, this is lime green, but the base of it is silver. I don't know what I did, really. I think I was trying to make the inside silver, which I don't know why I just didn't make this whole part silver. But anyway, we've got the ID, which is 
here, and it opens diagonally, which I think is kind of cool, but not at the same time. It's made out of packing tape, which actually, I got a really, like, there's no air bubbles or anything in it. Like, look at that. You can't even tell it's there. It's just, don't make fun of my funny stu stubby fingers, all right? Then, when I was doing a video earlier, I noticed that there's a pocket uh, coin pouch here, but I have a surprise to show you all. It's not really a coin pouch if it goes all the way through. So I'm going to have to fix that before I sell it. Or, before we sell it. We might sell it at the craft fair we're going to. But yeah, that's not generally the best thing that's supposed to happen with a coin pouch. Yeah, so. Can I show you guys the green billfold? Yeah. Next I have this dashed line design. Which, it's just, like... It's like a weave, kind of, but it's not at the same time. But anyway, this green part I added, you can tell because it's silver right here. Like, I'll show you. It looks like that if you take off the silver. Open it up. Very poorly done. I'll start with the ID because you can see all these, like, patches. I don't know if you can see that, see it, but I can sure see it, and it's quite annoying. And there's no brim to tell where the ID is, so, like, look at that. Like, where is the brim? Do I even have an ID? Was this wallet worth the buy? The answer is no. The ID is really big. Not as big as the last one I'm about to show you. But, yeah, there's no brims on these, which I think I would do silver, green, silver. I don't know. It looks like there's only two pockets, but really, there's three. One. Two. Three. Which, the pockets are really good sized. I don't know why, I guess I guesstimated. And then you've actually got a not broken coin pouch. Look at that. It doesn't go through at all. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I know. And then we've got the last thing to show you is a large wallet that I made. I don't know why it's so big. But it's blue with a positive and a negative. A positive and a negative um, apple on it. And it's really blunt. When you open it, it's plain blue. Blue billfold. It's really plain up here, so I think I'm going to add, like, Apple or something on it. Or Mac or something. Because I was at the Apple Store when I, after I made this. I was... I made this after I went to the Apple Store. So you've got one, two, three, four pocket. Let me do that again. One, two, three, four pockets. And I showed you the billfold. The pockets... The, the brims or rims, whatever you prefer calling them, or trims. I call them brims. It's like, they're really uneven, so it look it looks weird. Um, and then the ID, it looks really small, but... It fits really well, except on the sides, because the sides are really big. Which it's also, all three of them are made with packing tape. And, yeah. I just have to fix this. And this is the only one I did the cutting on the sides. Like, can you see that? Like here. As opposed to... Here where I connected them with different pieces. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can see that. But yeah. So, um, did I? I never showed you this, did I? It's just a basic red rose, black stem, and two petals. Flowers, whatever. Oh, I can't talk today. Oh, well. Yeah, this part right here is not very good. Alright, so that's just about it. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll put the links to, um... Mine and Sarah's channels below, and also our web uh, website, which is sexyducttapecreations.webs.com. 
And yeah, that's just about it. Bye-bye.